Oh, I was born ready, so I'm always ready. Met my boy blasters. Don't want to meet my boy pepe. I'll watch him be more crap. Why not bet me about watching? Hey, a Cassio Poli, where you're Ganyo Poli. Ganyo Poli, Nessino. You're dying, Hona. You're Bassi. It's been an interesting week. AFCON qualifiers on the horizon, uh, Euro 2024 qualifiers. Right here at home, uh, we want to concern ourselves with Chris Hutton's first two matches. The lessons learned. I'm going to just, yeah, I'm going to throw up. A crossbow. We gone. We gone. <laughs> countryside. <laughs> but who did the countryside? Be Hutton. Yeah, Hutton did it. Uh, four points in six games. Four points in, out of six. Um, two games played. Yeah. Represented himself well. I'll just pick out a few of the topical issues that have happened, and then I'll let each person address one of them because we have four things on the item today or on the um the the list today. I want us to finish everything before we leave. So we'll talk about. The Black Stars, obviously, we'll discuss Felix Afinajan and his back and forth <laughs> with the Black Meteors. Was he invited late? Was he not invited properly? Did he turn it down? Does he feel superior to the team? A lot of legs to that story. We'll talk about that. There's a big match this weekend. We barely get early kickoffs like this. Manchester City, Liverpool. Kaish! Early kickoff. Hot, hot. When they score you, your week all go for sport. <laughs> <laughs> And your yeah. defeat will be on rotation. My, 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 my new thing is that when they score the first goal against my team, I turn the TV off. <laughs> <laughs> it will save you, no, bro. You know, <laughs> the TV you know that, there are times when... Still, then there are times see, when... You come, you come later and see there is like, okay, we've lost. Yeah. But watching them play rubbish mm -hmm. for There are times, there are times when, when I actually want to do that. Mm -hmm. But I, I just can't reach the remote and turn off the TV because yeah. I tell myself, Charlie, it could be. It they could come, be. They they come go, back, it's coming. They come back, it's coming. <laughs> then you watch the thing I realize actually. Part two. <laughs> part three. That's how it is. Let's no, start off. I mean, is the is, you see, yeah. losing a game is yeah. fine, but watching 90 minutes, minutes of rubbish. Yeah, I know. I know I know how that feels. I know how, that, know how that feels. Let's dig right into it. Coach, let me start off with you. First thing I want to address, and one of the first things I saw people hammer on persistently was on Gideon Mensa and our left back position. Um, a lot of people believe that with Babaraman away, this was Gideon's final chance to dispel any doubt in anybody's mind that he is our sole first choice for number one and everybody else comes behind him. You watched the two games against Angola. Yeah. Did he convince you? Did he not play well enough to warrant such criticism? What did you make of Gideon Mensah in the two games? So, before I address that, mm. I have seen some very laughable articles. No, those ones, those don't I'm mind. Coming. Those ones, don't mind those ones. Very laughable. <laughs> and so I tweeted and I said, This is absolute rubbish. And I'm not going to take that back. It's absolute rubbish. Look, if the man has been around for so long a time mm. and we say we have a problem, mm. what makes you think that? If we brought in somebody new to come and help solve the problem and the person in court is unable to solve the problem, what makes you think that the one who's been there that we've diagnosed to be the problem is the solution to the problem? What sort of kindergarten? You mean that analogy is flawed? Ah, completely flawed. Mm. Mm. So for those who is champion, those, all those championing that, Nimonyawa, go and sleep. Am I a Beshi? Beshi D. Uh... We are moving. You see the, the, the under 23 left back you see what he's doing? Mm -hmm. These are the people we should be encouraging. Samuel Ashikwe. Samuel Ashikwe. We should be encouraging them. Mm. Now, let me address the Gideon Mensan issue. Look, I was in Kumasi. Mm -hmm. I watched every second of that game. Mm -hmm. Truth be told, Gideon finds himself playing against a left-footed winger. Ah, that's always going to be a problem. That's always going to create problems for him. But you at the end of the day, yes, yes, at the end of the day, dealing with the situation shouldn't have been left to the young man alone. Mm. Because we all know that when the Costa turns onto his favorable foot, yeah, he's turning that on is Gideon's, Gideon's right. Unfavorable foot. So tactically, uh, Edmond Adu, who was playing as a DM, or who the, should have re or one of the center backs should have, because anytime Gideon tried to show the guy onto the byline, the guy wouldn't go there. 
So once he decides to cut in, somebody should be blocking the channel. This is tactics. Hmm. So I looked at the situation over and over again. Okay, two things. The guy always turned on to his unfavorable foot. Mm -hmm. Do you say that as a coach, you leave it for him to deal with it alone? Surely he couldn't have dealt with it. So there should have been a team way of dealing with it. One of such things, and then if you look at the game again, Kamadi never, I repeat, never assisted Gideon in that game. <laughs> he in said Kamadi. this every game. He never he looked, said this every game. I was asking myself that, look, Kamadi, you are playing professional football though, in the EPL. It's not all the time where you expect the coaches to step in and try and prompt you as to what you should do. Mm -hmm. You should clearly see. And there were times where the Angolans were doubling up on Gideon. He clearly pinpointed his yes, so you, as a weak spot. Look, they will, they will go and concentrate whatever they intend to do on that side. And anytime you look at the numerical uh, 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 setting, they always had numbers than we did. So that created a problem in the first leg. So I would say that I agree that Gideon had a very difficult game, and I've just explained the reason why that will happen. If you go and put Barbara Man there, it will be even worse. It will be worse. <laughs> now let's go to what happened in Angola. Angola yeah. You and I know for a fact that in terms of performance, he did better in Angola than he did in Kumasi. Because then you, you could clearly see that the team, the, in, the introduction of Salis, mm -hmm. who is very smart, proper midfielder, proper DM. He knows, he reads the danger and then step in. Go and watch the game against Angola again. You clearly saw that Salis all the time had Gideon covered on the right side of his foot. Mm. So that, we clearly saw that the impact that the Angolan uh, uh, guy had in Kumasi, yeah. he didn't have such... Costa was even subbed. Yes. yes. Yeah. Let me just ask you one question before you continue. I mean, you've pointed out systemic problems. Are you saying that Gideon has no responsibility to take no, personally over the no, two I admit it mm. that he had a difficult time. But you should look at the limitation that came with that. That's why I'm, I'm saying that it should have been a team way of dealing with it. Because you cannot tell Gideon that all of a sudden he should change his left foot to be his right foot. If the if for example if held the Costa's dominant foot was his was his right, right foot and, and he, he kept he dealing with it all the day, you know that no able more as I got me. Fair enough, fair enough. So that is the and and I like what the technical team did in that second leg, or when we went to Angola, they saw it. They clearly realized that look in dealing with him, we need somebody to be on Gideon. So anytime he decides to cut in, that person steps in to deal with. It. And Salis did it superbly. By all standard. But that is not to say that we shouldn't create competition for Gideon Mensa. I mean, I've always said a proper team is the team that always has proper competition. So the likes of Ashikwe, if Ashikwe can boss, we are taking them to the under 23 tournament in Morocco. If he can go there and show that he's ready, clearly he should be given a call up into the Black Stars. Fair enough. No two ways about that. Mm. No two ways about that. He should be given a call up into the Black Star to show or to create that healthy competition between him and Gideon Mensa. Mm, fair enough. Fair enough. Let me, let me talk to Susu about I, I want to just say something about the... I, I, want, I, I want to get through a lot. But I just want to say, mm. we should take our best players. So all the Kudus come out in who are under 23. I think they should go. We'll get to that discussion. I'll get to that discussion. I'll get to that discussion. I'll give you time to spread your wings. Of course, I need to comment on that. Quick thoughts on Kingsley Schindler. Um, saw him in that second game against Angola. Horrible. Is he competition? Can he give Tariq al Seydou and Koe run? No. Even before we get there, let's think about our team and the right backs we have. Mm -hmm. He's probably at best fourth choice. Hey, if you yeah. know, if you think about it, because Ali Dusedu is there, mm -hmm. Tariq Lamte is there, Dennis Odo is there, mm -hmm. Tariq got injured. And the Adam, even Andy Adam. Oh, no more level. Let's not do this. <laughs> no, there's a reason he was <laughs> called up ahead of Andy Adam. So let's say he's fourth choice. Mm -hmm. So, because Tariq Lamte was called, yeah. he's injured, yeah. he didn't come. Odo came, got injured. Go injured. Mm -hmm. Said was even the squad because yeah. he's injured. He's injured yeah. I don't see 
if our fourth choice has a bad game, there's a reason his fourth choice. Exactly. I don't think we should dwell on him having a bad game. W- would that not be because it was also his debut? Can you not cut no, him that let's, slack? Let's, let, no, I'm, I'm not, it's, for me, it's not even, it's a non-issue whether he had a good game or not. We are down to our fourth choice left back. He could even be fifth. Maybe there was someone else who was also hurt. Maybe that was Philemon Baffo. <laughs> yes, don't do it. this. <laughs> ah, don't do yes. this. So you get my point. So at that point, he's we can see he's clearly down the rotation. And let's also add the fact that he's a natural winger. Mm. He's more he of a winger right, who right can, midfield, right. He's more of a winger who can play as a right back. Mm. So if he has a four choice right back who's more offensive, more or less a, adjusting to Adjusting, has a bad game defensive. It doesn't mean anything. Exactly. Mm. Because for all we know, we might not see him in another Black Star squad. He's also 29. So it's not like he's a prospect. We might not see him in another Black Star squad for another two years. So mm. I don't feel like there should be too much discussion on what our fourth choice right back was up to. It was, it didn't work out. Mm. It could have been punished. Mm. We got away with it, fair enough. If we want to talk about the defense, let's talk about the experienced players who I'll, didn't I'll, have I'll, I think I'll, that I'll that's get, I'll, 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 I'll get into it. I'm, I'm, get, I'm just going bit by bit. Yeah. So it. for me, the Schindler thing is a non-issue. Yeah. I don't think we should really kind of think about it too much. Mm. He had a bad game. We accepted it, but... So you think he, it was just ad hoc? You think he's somebody they wouldn't invite again? I don't think he was a right much. back. When all these guys are fit, I don't think yeah. he should be looking. Fair enough. I, I, let's he, move it on and talk about Danny Amati. Again, I, I have had question marks about him for a minute. Yeah. Both watches. I, I mean, I, I watch the EPO all the time. We cover it all the time. So I see Amate a lot. Ha. Ah, Pichichi. Ben. Is Amate <clears throat> still a starting caliber right, uh, center back for the Black Stars? Absolutely. I think uh, any day I'll vouch for Amate being part of the Black Stars' first 11. Over, over yeah. the rest of the guys we have. Yes. I, 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 know, I know people have issues with his um, defending at times, but... Looking at the consistency in the team, I think he's lasted the last 22 games. He's played for the Black Stars. He's done so well. And you look at the sort of centre-backs we have now. Mo Salisu, Alex Juku, Amate, Joseph Eidu, Joseph Eidu mm-hmm. and then... Uh, and then Nicolas, Nicolas Sokoku is yeah. in the mix, yeah. I think that one player... Moomin, who, Moomin has been yeah. on the fringes. I think one player who has been in the Black Stars team and knows the team so well now is Amate. And uh, with the experience that he has guarded, the but, experience that he has gathered but, now. But, but all this experience is not showing. The last game oh. in Angola, he looked over, See, he looked overconfident to me. And that's, then it, it resulted in a That's penalty. one aspect of Amate's play mm-hmm. that I think that the coaches will just have to talk to him about. Hmm. His, his, his tackles sometimes. Even in APL, there are, there are days where he goes off. I think against Chelsea, he had, he had a very <laughs> poor tackle in the game and he survived. It's, it's one of those things that Amate does which goes off board. But in overall, I look at the sort of composure mm-hmm. he brings to the Black Stars defense. There's, for me, it's about the experience he's gathered playing with the team. Yeah. He's, he's paired with Mo Salisu. He's paired with Juku. He's been one of the constant centre-backs we've had in the Black Stars. And I think we don't have to throw him just off the team because he's having a, a bad tackle or a bad day. He has shown he's had, that... He's had a bad see, stretch. He, he, he's, he's been... He's how, been how often? He's been, he's been back from the world See, see. At least the world we, 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 we may say... We may say... Oh, oh. Coach. Say the word cup. No more see, from Amate, from Amate, 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 last time he started for Leicester. I, look, Amate, Amate has his SS some days, but I think that for the Black Stars, he's shown that he's he, no good. He, he's a constant centre back, and he has he has played. I think he has fitted in for us quite comfortably. I think comfortably with quite comfortably. That, that's, that's why I don't. That's why I don't. I, 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 I think that that incident that happened in Angola, out of out of five of our centre-backs. Joseph Edu we saw in that game was even G3. Oh, he wasn't. But he Joseph, doesn't... I mean, if I don't, if I don't see, play and you throw me into a team every once, once every 15 mm-hmm. games, it's of course happen. I'll be G3. Exactly. But my point is this, mm-hmm. that the sort of experience he's got at the Black Stars, it would just be off to just take him off the team at the moment. See, when he's not committed in a huge offence. You see, you believe it's not good enough. We tend to talk about experience, but uh-huh. I, there is a point I've always been making. Mm-hmm. Which is experience without form, form is is useless. <laughs> experience preach, without form, preach, 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 they could last that during Van der Sar and Co. When yeah. they were 37, 38, yep. you could clearly say they had form. Mm-hmm. 
You can list, look, the likes of uh, 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 Cannavaro and Co. They had form. So me, I've always said that it is good to be experienced. Yeah. But when the form is bad, experience will not save you. And you need the form to be good uh -huh. for the experience to make you better and extraordinary. And even a lesser. And Amate's currently form we have seen. No more. Amate form every minute. Agile. You see, see, you see when the list was, was mentioned, I spoke about the boy that was overlooked Moomin. from Moomin. But yeah, Moomin, is not, Moomin is not playing. That's no, the he's playing. His if limits are not him, constant yeah. enough. He's, you see, he doesn't get we, consistent. We have a coach who says he's, we are, he's trying to develop a team. I think we should be looking. I'm not saying get rid of Amati. Exactly. And he's actually I'm not saying get rid of Amati. Just not saying exactly. No, no. Okay. See, for, me, he for me, for me, I think that a time will come where we all agree that he needs to be off the first mm -hmm. eleven, but not now. When no, the game? Oh, no, 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 Amati. Yes. Oh no, the time is now. <laughs> no, not now. Oh, the time is now. The time is now. The time is now. Mm. Those, those you see the penalty he cost. Oh yes, I saw it. Even the first one, even the first, the first goal, he nearly did it again. Look, there's been not. Not one person, been, please. One person. Uh, look, not he one. nearly did it. In that first game, their goaler had a penalty. That Amate boy in Kumasi, yep. it was a clear penalty. Yep. You remember the one I'm talking yep. about? I remember the, I remember it the was fact. clear. He you guided mean, the guy, clear. guided the guy, guided the guy. And then he didn't do anything to the ball. He just clumped into the guy. I said, yeah. hey, penalty. <laughs> but look, I'm telling you, if the, See, the referee looked at the crowd and did not give it. He just that, that's why they, that's why the second time the referee also looked at the crowd. But then he didn't hesitate. It. He Guess what? Hesitate. Now they, they, he's been supplanted in that Leicester back line by Harry Suter. And honestly, who was at Stoke? Yep. Stoke City. Ever since Suter took his place, Leicester have not been elite defensively, but they've they been better. considerably better. Better. Now this is the point. For me, Finish I maintain first. I maintain that mm -hmm. a time will come mm -hmm. when we all agree that this persistent Amati defending is not good the enough. Time is now. But for me, Wait for me, that, that, time, that, that time is not, it's not yet now. now. Okay. I think that he has uh, been consistent, uh, he has got the experience. I like the partnership with Mo Sali so better than he, with Juku, mm -hmm. but it's not getting them now. He's getting but, the Edu and all that. Yeah, I'll say, I, 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 with, see, I'll but say if, if this continues, if this continues, we will agree. Wait, hold on, hold on. So let me hold you to timeline. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me hold you to timelines. You say if this continues. Yeah. National team football is not like club football. Well, we I understand. Week. How, long, how long See, do we tolerate this? It's been going on for too we, long. We've spoken about the Gideon Mensah mm -hmm. incident, yet we are holding grounds for him. No, but come we, on, We've spoken about some... No, See, if I'm not not being, being a if he's the senior either. defender, he can't to hold ground for players. If you're the senior defender, you can't be the worst defender. If you're to hold ground for players, the likes of Jordan will not even be in the Black Stars. Hey, we have a right. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not your point. See, <laughs> no, go in, go in. If, go if we in, have I, to scrutinize every player, let's go in. Oh, let's every go player. I, I want you to the, do this. Jordan will not be in the Black Star. Who again? I disagree, but oh, yes. let, let's no, no, no. Don't see, listen. Don't, don't, don't listen to anybody. It is your go in. No, no, go in. I want you to go in. I like this list. Let me just be here. No, 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 no. Finish. I like this. Jordan, Jordan, Amate, Jordan. Let's go. Jordan. Let's go. Amate, Baba Raman, Sidiyan Mensa, Joseph Aidu, Edmond Ado. Andrea is already off. <laughs> Let's go. Keep going. Let me stick to this. <laughs> if you have to really scrutinize the Black Stars performance mm. and all that, all these mm. people will not be in the team. Mm. So once you are able to hold God for some of the players, I think that we need to give Amati some more time. Mm. If this continues, then I, 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 I Hold on. Let me just... There's a point before Nathan comes in. I would disagree with Joseph, Joseph Edu though. Because you know what? Mm. He's been literally the most consistent player for Celta Vigo this exactly. season. Exactly. But for the Black Stars, and, and he doesn't get a fair shot at playing in the Black Stars. We always throw him mm. 15 minutes. Ten minutes, or we bring him we in play as a replacement in a, in a game when and then when something before goes before this yeah. game. I think against Ethiopia. Yeah, that was 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 that Sorry, yeah. I, you see, my uh, thing is, just when look, us, we when, need to move no, on. some of these players, they are playing consistently for their clubs, even if their Black Stars are not that great. Mm -hmm. Some of them you can see consistently for their clubs. I know Jordan has been impressive, but he's one of Crystal Palace's most consistent players. Mm -hmm. He's playing. Amate is not even playing in a horrible Leicester defense. If he was so good, he'd be playing. They, mm -hmm. a, they went to the championship to get Harry Suter. Harry Suter to come Stoke, and dislodge him. Stoke City, why are they in the championship? What? They went to find a championship center about to dislodge him. Come and sack you. 
Come on. Neither. And we are here complaining about yeah. Baba Amani and the Adam are ready that they are championship level defenders. If Amati is being replaced by a championship level center back, what does he say about him? Hmm. Nathan, <laughs> your, t- your take on this before I move it on? On Danny Amati. Yes. Danny Amati has looked jittery in the last year, year and a half. And so, I think, I, I expect Chris Hutton to still watch him and, exactly. and make Look, a decision. Um, let me, uh, uh, we uh, uh, you let time feel. Oh, oh, yeah, I remember. Uh, that, what, uh, the uh, second goal, yeah. Uh, 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 Mini, most extreme defender, I told you that quality. He's not leading you know, by so, example. So he's leading in shakiness. You know, he's and, leading and, in shakiness. And, and Ben, whenever I watch Leicester play, and there's Danny Amati, mm. you, 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 you kind of always get this. Something will definitely go wrong, and he'll be the one who... Look, who, he did something... Something like... Yeah. I mean... Let me... Re- look, he, he did something, Kumasi, and I asked myself, I watch you week in, week out for Leicester. You never attempt to do this. Do you know what he did? What did he do? There was a moment where he tried giving a 70 yard pass. I mean, <laughs> when I see him in the Black Stars, eh, he. No more, boom, the chip wall, let me get Ah, but you don't do that at club level. He acts like. He acts like he's Fabio Cannavaro. Oh, nana. Yeah, yeah, he acts like he's Fabio you know, Cannavaro. So, but your skill level is on player whose name I don't want to mention. No disrespect, but it's fine. <laughs> let's, let's move you know, on. So, so, so I personally think that Chris Hutton needs to watch Danny Amati. Maybe he's suffering a crisis of confidence. Maybe he's getting exposed. Maybe he's not even getting the right partner. Because I say that. Nice one. The Black Stars defense gets elevated when Salisu plays. When he's in that deep, when he's in that back line, you can tell almost instantaneously something happens to that back line. We saw it against Switzerland. We saw it in the World Cup. When he's in that back line, better decisions are taken. So I think Chris Hilton needs to do two things. One, assess that back line again and ask himself, who is the best option or the best partner for Mo Salisu? Because Mo Salisu, he's an outlier. He's a left-footed defender. We don't have a lot of those. Left-footed centre-back. So he gets the automatic spot. And then he needs to figure out who partners him. The other thing Chris Hutton needs to do is look at Joseph Edu, Nicolas Opoku, and all other options at centre-back and run through them and see who works. Because whether we like it or not, there will come a day when Daniel Amati cannot play for the Black Stars. And there will come a day when he won't be able to compete with the demands of international football. So Chris Hutton needs to start thinking about that now. The AFCON is a few months away. Mm-hmm. And if Dani Amante's poor form continues, we'll go to that tournament and we'll pay for it because the continent is ruthless. If you go and play against Senegal, Sadio Mane, he will look at this guy, run past him and go and score. We saw it at the World Cup and football doesn't lie. Mm. The levels will always show. Mm. So I think Chris Hutton needs to quickly decide what happens to Dani Amante. Maybe it's a confidence crisis. Maybe it's tactical. Maybe he needs to talk to the player. But I look at Dani Amante mm. and I... I, I don't, I don't get too would have convinced. Been interesting he needs because, talking to Because he yeah. tracks around the pitch like he's the most confident guy on the pitch, but makes the, mis, the most basic errors. Like, ben, I don't get ben, it. Have you, hold on, ben, ben, players, will, have you seen Ruben love to cheek? Have you seen his, where he walks out? Does he not look like a star player? Does he play <laughs> like one? <laughs> So I'm working on it. Lotto G didn't ask for this. I'm no, just not I'm talking about that. You just found him to bring him. Oh, no, I, have just, my, I, I have my own theories about Lotto G, but that's for another I mean, day. That's the point I'm making. A player can look absolutely confident. Mm-hmm. He's, then he's not playing well enough. Let's get to a guy. I, he, he wasn't even in the mix for these two games, but I feel like he's in danger of being a forgotten man. Daniel Kofitre. Is he actually no. in danger of missing the Chris Hutton ship? Because... I saw Ashimiru coming and partner the midfield in a small time and he made a Look, world of difference. This is what, what I, happens to Kofitre? This is what I will say. Kofitre has at least the start of next season potentially up until December this year to make a case. He's injured, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's, yeah, a seri- it's a very, very so serious injury. injury. So I don't even think he'll be so, so unfortunately, it won't be his doing. It won't be Chris Hutton's doing. But because if he, if he cannot make an argument, at least for the next AFCON, you won't feature. It is life after that AFCON that when you start playing well, you will get handed an invitation. Because from what I'm seeing, yeah. Mr. Hutton will open the doors fairly for everybody to come and show what you can do. Yeah. And some players, when they played against Angola in the second leg, have given him a few things to think about. Mm-hmm. As for Joseph Payne, so he was always around the team. But I play on Majid Ashmero. He's giving Mr. Hutting a few things to think about that this guy is an option. 
This guy is good. This guy looks like somebody who can give us something. See, um, one thing that which um, I, I hope and pray mm -hmm. that they look at is our midfield. You see, this our, our team has always been the engine of the team. team. I think mm -hmm. it is looking to be the weakest department of the team. I because think it's because if we you have so if many players Thomas who Party, are of the same profile. Yes. So if you take off Thomas Party, as for the Edmond Ado guy, <laughs> he's not stake a case for himself. Oh, Ado I think we should move hasn't, on because look, no more near good boy. And he's played multiple times. Yes. Anytime he's come, he's been given. He, he, he looks he like he's under pressure. He hasn't convinced. Yeah. He hasn't convinced. So now, Ashimeru has shown that he can play. Salis has shown that he can play. We need. Another three. We need three I, more. I think, Chris, I think what the Black Stars midfield needs, right, is who we will call a 10. This team needs somebody. No, I said, Kudus, if he's no, spoken no, no, no. to, I don't, he, can, I don't, he can do that. Yeah, yeah, but is, the, the point is that I'm I'm if you take about, away Kudus, I'm talking yes, about I'm a secondary, you know, in the previous iteration of the Black Stars, we had Stephen Appiah. Yes. What we would call the schema, the brain of the team. Yes. Somebody who can pick a pass I think five yards into the penalty box, he's finding somebody. That I, kind of thing. I think Ashimero can do that. Uh -huh. Courage can do that. But I'm looking at a situation where with the party situation, you see, there's something developing there that we need to actually look at. I have said he should be the captain of the team going forward. Quickly, don't delay that decision. Chris Hutton. I feel like I know what you're doing. So we make Andre general So Andre captain. becomes general captain. Uh, hey. Oh, are we going back to those <laughs> general captains? Uh, okay, no, 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 no. let's... Okay, let's... I'll be no... Oh, no more. Don't stretch this argument. I'll be no more. That what? That, that you're yeah, looking at Andre the general <laughs> captain. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But there's a precedent the for it. A position. Yeah, yeah, I feel... When it comes to our captains, it. there's no issue. We don't need to go into that... Don't stretch that oh, argument. Moment, see, Let the moment you strip Andre of our captaincy... Uh-huh. What we'll go happen? back. We'll go back to to what? To what? The old way. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So we are moving forward. forward. Andre. No, you see. Let me tell you something. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't just, know why you want to. Let me just say something. You yeah. see, football. Yeah, certain things are inevitable. Yeah. It's once, see. once you start putting a certain player on the bench consistently, mm -hmm. you move his, on. His leadership is in danger. Yeah. That's it. That's what we move on. I don't make the rules. Do we have to make him the general captain? So, so what we do? So we should strip him completely. See. That general captain is <laughs> something. Let's move didn't, on. Let's didn't, didn't even make sense. Okay. okay so, like so you are either captain, captain or not. Either captain or his captain is not captain. Okay. okay. Let's move on. Right. So, 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 we should remove him completely. So just so, yeah. so you see, so I am talking. I'm I'm a bit worried about our midfield. Mm. So I want. I wish. Look, we sh we we should go and talk to some other players. I think Chris Hutton should look at. Open the f open look, open his net a bit wider mm. and see whether he can talk to uh, where is Bernard Mensah if he's playing. I see. I I, I was surprised Charlie. nobody asked this at the press. I was Charlie. I was I was, I was, I was yeah. to okay. to I, 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 I was like, hold, hold on. I, yeah. I, want, I want to get, I want to get Chris's point. Mm -hmm. When you say other midfielders, what what type of profile are you yeah. looking at? People who progress the ball. We are looking at progressors of the ball. People who take the ball and progress. People who. Pass the ball when it's in difficult time, they will see the pass. Yeah. Because in this team, it is looking like the person who sees the pass is Thomas Party. Mm -hmm. yeah. Apart from him, no other person no, no, sees. I, 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 want, I, I want to move had, the conversation. I, I, I had a discussion with this about Ebu in the afternoon. We, he was saying that we should play 4 3 3 and play Kudus on the wing. That's his idea. Mm. I told him that if you look at the midfielders we've picked, they are not enough and they don't move the ball well enough. So if you play a 4 3 3, it will just be so stodgy. You, you know you, that you, kind of you, thing. You feel so, that? You feel. I, I get your point. So, 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 so the Four, point two, is, three, one. the point is, yeah. we have a lot of what safe passes. Yes, yeah, yeah. safe passes. If we won't have risk we should, tickets. Yeah, exactly. Players who who risks the pass. That, that's who he's decided. We need, we need another Kodua Samoa. Let me move the conversation. <laughs> so, let's talk about the wings. Mm -hmm. I personally have seen enough of Kamal Gin. I think he's not a deserving starter in the national team. I agree. Yeah. I think that yeah. Yeah. Osman yeah. Bukhari has done enough to get a start in the More team. Than enough. Yeah. Coach, where do you stand we, on this wing play? What do we do with our wingers? You see, I've always said it. This team is struggling for goals. Mm. And thankfully, we've got wingers who are on proper goal scoring form. They know where the goal post is. So. Yeah. <laughs> Osman Bukhari knows the net. Joseph Pencil in 20 minutes knows where the net is. Even Yeah. And if you look at their all round contribution, they are specialists in the position. They know how to assist. Finally, football is about assists and goals. <laughs> Finally, thank God it matters. 
Because if I'm the head coach of the Black Stars of any national team or any team for that matter, yeah. I will not compromise on that player who guarantees me a goal or two. We've heard in this country that football is not all about goals Can and assists. Can you imagine? Hmm. What a rubbish statement. <laughs> What a rubbish statement. I but somebody I, who I, should I, have known better. I, I kind of agree. I won't lie. <laughs> what, what is, what is, what is more than goals? No, no, no. Everyone has to contribute in their own no, way. But, if but you, certain positions... Everybody understands that. The point is that football is always about goals. Always. 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 Ben, as for the other thing, those are also soft values. It's important for a player to have So if you are stopping someone from loyalty, hard work, those things, it's important. So... So you see, so as for as for the wingers, mm. look going forward, no more Jordan, get wing and agile, eh? You mean you don't buy all the? No, he's the new try. number ten. He's, he's he works he's, he's hard. What? He work, They said they say he played number ten in the the, the second leg against Angola like twenty minutes and he excelled. I beg you, yeah. You do what? I beg you, yeah. <laughs> I beg. You, I beg you, yeah. <laughs> You should do what? Yeah. You number ten. I beg you, yeah. <laughs> you are just, you are going back to your, to your, to your Liberian roots. <laughs> I beg you, yeah. I mean, you number if I ever tell. Tell it. How we say she? Oh, See, defensive is it track tracking back winger to do what? Look at Joseph Benson. Lumo, did you see the acceleration? Yeah. First touch out. But look, once he saw the gap. Pam, catch and, 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 and I think that sequence, in that sequence, that sequence, was brilliant. In that sequence all of Chris Hutton's no, attitudes were sequence, involved in, in that, that sequence. sequence. In that sequence, we need to give Tabs Inaki. Inaki. Inaki really. oh, yeah. Charlie, ah, the touch. Have a movement the touch. Yeah. The Look, touch. Do you think that if Jordan had that ball and Inaki had moved, he would give the pass? Fifteen. He would give the pass. Probably take an extra touch. Take an extra touch and when you need a doctor by midfield, just mess no, up. No, seriously. Ball. Look, let's call the spade a spade. Mm. Jordan, I think we need to realign his mentality and his and his star in the Black Stars. This is a boy who started as a fine number nine. We saw him as somebody who will be the successor to Samaj. All of a sudden, we say he's a winger. He say he's a, he's a winger. He's tracking back. He's, he's tracking, tracking forward. Tracking and getting tracking free. Tracking and getting free. <laughs> to do what? <laughs> tracking and getting free to do what? What is the end product to that? Zero. Cost 90. <laughs> he can do that. So as for Chris Hutton, some of us are beginning to see that the FA people don't trust him. They didn't want him. That is why when they were unveiling him, only Henry Asante was there to unveil him. Nobody that's, else that's, was that's there. That's an allegation. It's not no, an no, allegation. But, 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 but it's, it's a true fact. statement. It's, it's actually really, happened before. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's remember get, let's Coach Pete? Do you remember Coach Milo's one? I'm, I'm a coach on this one. Matcha, Matcha. Yeah. This, you mean, I'm you mean, coach on this if, you are, if you are saying that mm -hmm. he should have been accorded the same type of unveiling that... Of course! That's fair enough. But don't you can't you can't make a blatant statement and say... So and so and not there. They could have, you and I no, know he, they didn't support I, his appointment. I'm, I, I, I don't know that for a fact. Okay, I, 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 know, that I, don't, fact. I don't know that for a fact. I don't know that for a fact. See, that is why when we had the opportunity yeah. to take him and the mm -hmm. trainer scout, they took the trainer scout. Fair enough. Fair enough. Coach, that, that's fair enough. Coach yeah. is a very good that's because yes. if you're unveiling your head coach, your head coach, your head coach, mm -hmm. no more. And and the that GFA day, see, should be that Sunday, that Sunday, the GFA vice president wasn't Kumasi. He left. He went Sunday. You, you, you were in Kumasi. Yeah, so you Sunday know. he was in Kumasi. Mm -hmm. When he knows that the day after the coach will be unveiled. Revealed. And then you leave the coach with the communications director and just two members of his management team. Mm. Mm. Who, who are no, those? No, the president. Alaji Gruza. Gruza. And then um, Akwesi Ajima. Yeah, I think so the is it, is it because, yeah. So is it because is it, they put her already in Kumasi that you've left them with? Because Alaji Gruza will be in Kumasi. But Akwesi Ajima is okay. typically in Accra. Yeah. So he, no, but, but, but clearly, it, it says a message across. I think it's like the We've we are telling Chris Hutti, mm -hmm. one support the fool, hundred percent. Don't call me his appointment. I'm telling you honestly, nobody should influence his selection. Like the way he said, the absence of the captain yeah. is a coaching decision. Yeah. All but the but there's yeah. an injury. Mm. Oh, I know you're not in forest. No, actually, OEJ. Coach, mm. influence. He says he's wrap the coach. Wrap, wrap it up. Wrap it up for us on the choices and the, your thoughts on the national team, so we can move Look, to under twenty-three. It is very simple. This team mm -hmm. need progress. Okay. We have a forward-thinking coach. May I said, don't give the job to him because he was part of the team that took us to what? 
the World Cup. But you can see that he has a mind but of I his own. I can see that he has a mind of his own. That is what we've been crying for. Mm. If for our own for years, I've been oh, crying oh, for oh, years. Oh, no more. Finally, my tears have been wiped away. Oh, hey. Hey. Joy. Hey. <laughs> so we are hoping that he will stamp his authority and do the work. Mm. Mm. Nathan. I just the last thing I want to say is Chris and I were talking about it during the week. If there's something Chris Uti can do about our inability to take advantage of set pieces, he should do ah, it. Ah, Nathan, God bless you for reminding this. Then it is really heartbreaking. It is sad to watch. Very sad that the black stars will always get into positions where they can take advantage of set pieces. And teams will realize that very soon. Yes, oh, this is why you give them free kicks and they don't utilize yeah. it. We had a free kick against Angola. Mm. Prime position. Absolutely brilliant position. We couldn't find anybody to take a set piece. Jordan. That set piece on target was bang, 2-1. We were winning that game. Jordan. And it's not just that game. Then I can count so many instances where in an AFCON, in a World Cup, we've been put in a position of promise where if you had a proper free kick taker, bang, it's at the back of the net. No. So I hope Chris Uting thinks about it because, you see, set pieces are always... The opponent can never get ready for a set piece. It's an integral part of You can train and train and train. You can never be ready for one. Mm-hmm. Right? That is why Southampton, when they play football games against other teams, all they pray for is that hack somebody. Let's get into what Prowse range. Yeah, because Ooh, they score. know that... Yeah. Once he clears the wall, he, the other day, the, 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 yeah, as soon as the ball, the hair was praying. I was, I was telling somebody. The only, he was on his knees just looking at the ball. I was telling somebody that we talk about this in basketball. There's, there's something called Steph Curry range. In no football, much. there's something called World Prowse range. Ah. If there's a free kick in that range, he will score. You, you know that 80% percent you score it. The ball is, see, the so, ball is ending so, up so, in the back. Right, the, the, the actual factual, the, 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 the actual factual mm-hmm. accuracy in that range for him is 60%. Percent. Imagine. That's crazy. And that's, that's, that's ridiculously madness. good. Yeah, 60%. Percent. So, I feel Chris Hitty needs to look at it carefully. Mm-hmm. I don't know what he will do. I don't know if the players are even thinking about it because I always say that one of the things... That will, we are going to an Afcon. Look, mm-hmm. you we may not dominate everybody. We don't need to. We don't have to. I mean, Miller showed that in 2010. Mm. We don't, but we don't we need to. We can get into an Afcon final. 85 minutes is goalless. Somebody gets hacked. And if we have our set pieces spot on, we score one, you win an Afcon, you go home happy. Mm-hmm. So I pray that Chris Hutin looks at it carefully and figures out something. As for the corner kicks, I won't bother the, too much about it. The direct out, free kicks. It is clear that it cannot be Jordan. There be no money where you are no quality. He cannot. He cannot be our set piece taker. Why? I remember he took a set piece during but one, the of our, Cup. one of our games. Somebody, somebody says something. Oh. I can't repeat no, all no, here, no, no, It was no, just no. a reflection I, of the set piece. You know the one I remember, the Nigeria game. That's the one I'm they talking were, about. No, That's the, the one I'm the talking about. The deliveries were so poor. But interestingly enough, at the World Cup, he had a good one. He had a good one. Only one. one. Yeah. So let's add. He's taking over thousand one. <laughs>